In the secretive corridors of Russian laboratories, where the pursuit of knowledge meets the boundaries of the unknown, a group of brilliant scientists has stumbled upon a revelation so perplexing that it has sent shockwaves through the global scientific community. It's a discovery that defies the laws of conventional wisdom, challenging the very fabric of our understanding. As news of this breakthrough spreads like wildfire, Scientists, scholars, and doubters alike are left grappling with a phenomenon that seems to defy the very essence of reality. Could this be a breakthrough that redefines our understanding of the universe? Or are we on the verge of a scientific revolution that challenges everything we thought we knew? Join us on this journey of scientific interest as we unravel the secrets behind the discovery by Russian scientists that confused the whole world. Howard Encounter with Extraterrestrial Entities Howard Menger was one fascinating figure who was obsessed with and laid claims to having more than just mere brushes and encounters with multiple extraterrestrial beings. His earthly journey began in the bustling city of New York in 1922. The crucial moment, however, unfolded during a simple stroll in the woods at the tender age of 10. A young Howard, surrounded by the enchanting serenity of nature, stumbled upon a bewitching blonde girl. Interestingly, she revealed herself as a visitor from the celestial realm of Venus. Fast forward to the 1950s, and Howard found himself immersed in a series of contacts with these otherworldly beings. He asserted that these extraterrestrials were not just visitors, but friends on a noble mission. According to Howard's narrative, the cosmic visitors harbored a benevolent intent to rescue Earth's inhabitants from the clutches of war and immorality. Howard and his wife became companions to these extraterrestrial entities, investing considerable time in their celestial presence. During these encounters, the mysterious beings imparted their celestial melodies to Howard. These extraterrestrial songs, he claimed, held the power to instill friendliness and love and catalyze human evolution. The aliens, it seemed, aspired for a harmonious Earth, free from the shackles of conflict and violence. Their grand vision extended to a future where Earthlings could seamlessly join an interstellar community. In an attempt to bridge the gap between worlds, Howard took a bold step in 1957 by releasing an album. This musical masterpiece, he asserted, echoed the sounds resonating on distant planets. Doubters greeted Howard's story, Yet, interestingly, the compositions from his record were acknowledged for their ability to induce relaxation and alleviate stress. While the world may have been hesitant to fully embrace Howard's cosmic chronicles, the undeniable impact of the extraterrestrial-inspired melodies added a mysterious melody to the symphony of human experiences. The Discovery of the Oldest Wheel Strata. In the year 2020, a Russian newspaper brought attention to a fascinating discovery, a peculiar artifact resembling a wheel unearthed in a Donetsk mine. What adds an interesting twist to this find is the fact that the first wheel, as we commonly know it, made its debut a whopping 55 centuries ago in Mesopotamia. So, when scientists got wind that this particular artifact had an astonishing age of 300 million years, their minds were truly blown. The news of this extraordinary discovery quickly circled the globe, but there was a surprising twist. A mine worker stepped forward, revealing that the wheel had been found back in 2008. What's even more astonishing is that another identical fossil was later uncovered. However, the mine owner got wind of the situation and promptly put a stop to any further investigation or information sharing. Consequently, details surrounding this mysterious find remained shrouded in secrecy for an extended period. Fast forward to today, and the mine is no longer in operation. While it was primarily focused on extracting coal, it also harbored argillites and sandstones in its depths. The surrounding area was a treasure collection of ancient fossils Fossils, with even schoolchildren stumbling upon dinosaur egg fossils. Given the location's rich history, it's not surprising that experts estimate the age of the discovered artifact to be around 300 million years. Yet, despite this, unraveling the exact purpose of the wheel and identifying its potential creators seems like an insurmountable challenge. The mystery lingers, buried in the depths of time and geological strata. Antarctica's UFO Crash in 2018, an awe-inspiring video surfaced on a popular YouTube channel, unveiling a discovery that sent shockwaves through the online community. Meticulous researchers, armed with the powerful tool of Google Earth, stumbled upon a site that would fuel countless conversations and speculations. The footage, a visual feast for the curious, showcased an extraordinarily long and flawlessly straight trail, beckoning viewers to follow its mysterious path. 
This virtual journey led to an object of staggering proportions, leaving imaginations ablaze with the possibility of an extraterrestrial encounter. As viewers dissected the images, their collective interest heightened. The enigmatic scene not only featured distinct skid marks and the imposing object, but also unveiled a mountain bearing the unmistakable scars of a collision. It was as though the alien craft, having navigated the heavens, met its earthly match in the form of this formidable mountain. The question lingered. What force had brought this interstellar traveler to a sudden halt? The skeptics, armed with alternative explanations that sought to ground the fantastical narrative. Their counterargument posited that what appeared to be the aftermath of an alien spacecraft crash was in fact the aftermath of a terrestrial event. Yet the discerning eye couldn't help but notice that the scene, with its peculiar details, deviated from the typical aftermath of an icy cascade. The plot thickened with a myriad of theories vying for attention. Among them, a tantalizing suggestion emerged that the unidentified object might be the missing Malaysian Boeing Flight MH370. The aviation mystery, shrouded in the shadows of 2014, witnessed a twist in its tail as experts theorized that the Boeing pilots, driven by an unknown known force, altered their course towards the icy expanse of Antarctica. Could it be that the strange object captured in the footage was, in fact, the elusive missing plane, adding an unexpected layer to an already captivating narrative? The online community found itself entangled in a web of intrigue, with each new detail sparking fresh debates and fueling the insatiable curiosity of those eager to unravel the truth behind this extraordinary visual puzzle. Unusual Creatures Beneath Ice Sheet Beneath the immense ice sheets and permafrost of Antarctica, where a harsh, year-long darkness prevails and isolation seems overwhelming, one might assume that life would find it impossible to exist. However, astonishingly, this unforgiving environment is home to a diverse array of vibrant and highly adapted creatures that not only endure but thrive. From the enigmatic microbes of Lake Vaso, to the translucent ice fish in offshore waters and the colossal sea spiders under the Ross Ice Shelf, Antarctica fosters ecosystems that defy imagination, resembling something out of a science fiction tale. In the sunless depths below Antarctica's ice plateaus, unique and transparent stations, similar to the ice krill and ice amphipod, equipped with natural antifreeze mechanisms, populate the frigid blackness. Meanwhile, the eerie Antarctic scale worm sustains itself by consuming penguin blood and cleverly stores iron crystals in its skin for warmth. Interestingly, researchers stumbled upon a shape-shifting squid near the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, revealing its ability to morph its body in seemingly impossible ways when approached. Venturing into the even harsher temperatures of East Antarctica's University Valley, where only a select few organisms can endure the bone-chilling climate of minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, one finds CYOP files and cold-loving microbes as the resilient inhabitants. In stark contrast, beneath volcanoes like Mount Erebus, the warmth incubates bizarre life forms seldom encountered by humans, as intrepid climbers discovered in 2013 when exploring its caves. Further offshore, within Antarctica's nutrient-rich waters, giant sea spiders, spanning dinner plates in size, lurk beneath the Ross ice shelf. Bizarre ice fish, with clear blood and enormous eyes adapted for the dark depths, form massive schools, so abundant that they cannot solely rely on a single food source. What other mysteries lie concealed in these depths as expanding Antarctic gaps expose more seabed? Antarctica is unraveling new branches on the Tree of Life, prompting profound questions about the limits of life's tenacity. The residents of Lake 5, ancient beings almost as old as mammals themselves, may serve as a warning from Antarctica. The Enormous Gap Back in 2017, the vast, icy expanse of Antarctica experienced a remarkable event. An enormous hole, spanning over 30,000 square miles, ruptured through its frozen surface. This wasn't just any ordinary break. It marked the occurrence of a rare Antarctic superpolinia, a phenomenon as expansive as the entire country of Wales. This colossal opening in the icy Weddell Sea is a heavyweight contender, rivaling the largest polinias ever recorded. Polinias emerge when warmer, nutrient-rich waters ascend from the frigid depths of Antarctica's oceans, causing the floating ice sheet to retreat. The 2017 Polinia resulted from a robust seawater current, releasing warm water to the surface. Experts estimated that if it persisted, Antarctica's colossal gap would drain heat energy equivalent to 1,000 times the world's annual electrical generating capacity. 
The opening turned out to be short-lived. However, there's a concern that rising global temperatures might turn such fleeting polar phenomena into a more frequent occurrence. The potential impact of recurring polynias across Antarctica is significant. Scientists suggest that such large-scale losses of sea ice could drastically alter the Earth's energy balance by reducing the amount of solar radiation reflected into space. This, in turn, could accelerate human-induced climate change through feedback loops. The 2017 Polynias are now under scrutiny by research teams seeking clues to refine their projections. Surprisingly, automated underwater gliders deployed to the opening made an unexpected discovery. Marine mammals, like seals, might be using transient Polynias as breathing holes and foraging grounds. This hints at their crucial role in nurturing life within the Southern Ocean's food web. Disturbing this delicate balance could lead to ripple effects across Antarctic ecosystems, causing unforeseen disruptions. Understanding the intricacies of these polar phenomena is not just about the immediate impacts but also about unraveling the interconnected web of life in one of the most remote and mysterious corners of our planet. The Gambertsev Mountains Deep beneath the barren expanse of the Antarctic ice plains lies a concealed mountain range with a fascinating and mysterious past. The Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains, these majestic peaks, standing tall under the immense weight of over two miles of solid frozen water, surpass even the European Alps, with some peaks soaring beyond 10,000 feet and stretching over 750 miles. Nestled near Russia's VTO Research Center, these icy crags managed to elude discovery for decades until the sensational revelation in 1958. Through indirect mapping techniques involving seismic waves and gravity readings, geophysicists uncovered the formidable Gambortsev, baffling experts with its age of over 100 million years. In Antarctica's harsh climate, where erosion is relentless, these ancient mountains should have vanished ages ago, yet they endure defiantly against the grinding forces of ice. The mountains' extraordinary longevity sparked debates among experts, with some suggesting radical geological theories. Some proposed they were remnants of a lost southern supercontinent, while others hinted that Antarctica's ice cap might be much younger than previously believed. In 2013, an exhaustive international expedition ventured into East Antarctica's interior, armed with cutting-edge subglacial mapping technology. The Gambortsev peaks owe their continued existence to the unique Antarctic climate, shielded by a protective frozen shroud up to 2.5 miles thick since the region turned icy 35 million years ago. Uncovering the mountain's ancient origins, the researchers traced them back over a billion years using magnetic readings. These peaks emerged from ancient subduction zones, rather than recent volcanic activity, providing ample time for extensive erosion. The advancing ice sheets, acting as guardians, shielded the summits, leaving behind the rugged relief we see today. The findings also unveiled a hidden hydrological system beneath the Gambertsev, with a network of lakes and rivers flowing deep below the surface, regulating Antarctica's ice cap. However, as climate change accelerates, this delicate balance is under threat. Early signs of Antarctic ice loss may manifest through changes in the under-ice rivers surrounding the Gambertsev Mountains. If the protective frozen shield fails, an ancient landscape, last witnessed by dinosaurs, may resurface at an immeasurable cost. Alien Attack Ravo Lich is a regular guy from a small village in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Life took a fascinating turn for him when he started noticing peculiar stones falling from the sky onto his property. Curious and maybe a bit bewildered, Ravo decided to share his discovery with scientists. Those suspicious rocks were promptly sent for analysis, and they turned out to be meteorites. Ravo, however, took it all in stride. He had this inkling that his house was like a magnet for extraterrestrial visitors. In interviews, Ravo expressed his confusion about why aliens might have a beef with him and why they chose his humble abode for their celestial rock-dropping escapades. The first meteorite made its grand entrance in 2007, and since then, it has become a regular occurrence, especially during the rain. None of Ravo's neighbors seemed to have noticed any space rocks falling on their properties. 
Scientists, being the curious minds they are, have tried to unravel the mystery through various studies, but no luck so far. In the midst of it all, Ravo believes he's part of an alien game with rules that are as puzzling as the falling meteorites. Surprisingly, this cosmic phenomenon turned out to be a bit of a financial boon for Ravo. During the rainy season, people flock to his place just to witness the meteorite spectacle. Some even leave with a piece of the action, willingly buying the fallen meteorites. Island Moai's Statues Back in April 172022, a Dutch adventurer named Jacob Ravine stumbled upon a charming little island during his explorations. This hidden gem was called Rapa Nui by the locals, but you might know it better as Easter Island. Jacob couldn't believe his eyes when he encountered the massive Moai statues that dotted the landscape. These incredible sculptures, standing over 10 meters tall and weighing more than 10 tons, left him utterly astonished. Imagine Jacob's curiosity as he pondered how the islanders managed to create and transport these colossal statues across their home. Easter Island boasts a collection of 887 Moai, all crafted between the 13th and 16th centuries. Legend has it that the Moai are linked to the island's clan and chief, Hotu Matua, who stumbled upon Easter Island, fell in love with it, and decided to make it his permanent abode. When Chief Hotu Matua passed away, his legacy lived on as the island was divided among his six sons. The locals believe that these towering Moai statues hold the powerful essence of their ancestors, blessing the island with fertile land. While Rapa Nui's legends tell one tale, modern researchers have their theories. Many believe that the Moai were crafted by settlers from the Polynesian islands. According to this hypothesis, these statues served as symbolic representations of departed ancestors and acted as totems for the various clans on the island. Initially placed along the island's coastline, these imposing statues later embarked on mysterious journeys across the terrain. The questions of who moved them, how and why continue to baffle us, leaving the true story of the Easter Island Moai shrouded in mystery. The Dogu Figurines the enigmatic dogu figurines, exquisite remnants of Japanese artistry during the Jon period, beckon us to delve into the mysteries of their creation. These tiny sculptures, with their peculiar depictions of individuals boasting body shapes similar to astronauts in spacesuits, have ignited speculation about potential extraterrestrial encounters with ancient civilizations. The dogu, in essence, stands as tangible clues to a bygone era, raising questions about the extent of human connection with otherworldly entities. Traditionally attributed to the Inu people, ancient inhabitants of the Japanese islands, the origin of these figurines is not without controversy. Some propose an alternative theory, suggesting the involvement of the mysterious John civilization, whose presence in the shadows of history adds a layer of interest to the narrative. What truly captivates the imagination is the startling revelation made by NASA staff. Upon closer examination, they discerned uncanny resemblances between the intricate details of the dogu and the modern astronaut suits that we recognize today. It's as if the ancient craftsmen possessed a prescient vision of future space exploration. These mesmerizing artifacts boast an age of at least 2,300 years. How could these ancient artisans have foreseen the intricacies of a space expedition suit long before such technology was conceived? This perplexing question, wrapped in the mystique of time, leaves scientists grappling for answers, adding an extra layer of fascination to the enigmatic tale of the Dogu figurines. The Hidden Organism 46B of Icy Depth Deep within the eternal darkness of Lake VTO, hidden beneath Antarctica's icy depths, there is said to be a monstrous presence. Disturbing accounts have surfaced from Russian scientists who, in their quest to uncover the mysteries buried over two miles beneath solid ice, stumbled upon a creature that has sent shockwaves across the globe. This subglacial underworld harbors an elusive entity known as Organism 46B, and the tales surrounding it are a blend of chilling reality and frozen fiction. Whispers speak of a colossal, primitive squid, stretching about 33 feet long, adorned with 14 flexible limbs that showcase remarkable intelligence and insatiable hunger. Witnesses have shared spine-chilling stories of this predatory beast indulging in feasts upon helpless seal carcasses and even dragging researchers to their doom within its icy lair. Dubbed Organism 46B, this creature's name pays homage to Moscow's historical experiments with space-bound dogs. If the accounts are to be believed, Organism 46B represents a completely unknown species that has adapted to thrive in Lake VTO's oxygen-starved environment. 
enduring intense pressures reminiscent of Europa's ocean. Some enthusiasts even propose that it may hint at a reptilian lineage spanning the vast timeline of dinosaurs. The venom it supposedly carries is described as a fast-acting neurotoxin, yet attempts by chemists to synthesize it have proven futile. However, conflicting evidence challenges these dramatic narratives. Sonar scans indicate that Lake Viteo's size is relatively modest, only slightly surpassing the famed Loch Ness, known for its monster myth. Despite Russia's general secrecy surrounding VTO studies, there is an absence of official reports on disappearances or fatalities during Antarctic research missions. This leaves us to ponder whether a primordial horror truly lurks beneath the icy cap, or if the accounts of Organism 46b lean more towards fiction than fact. With over 400 subglacial Antarctic lakes and exotic ecosystems gradually revealing themselves, the possibility remains open. Until new tangible evidence emerges, Scientists must regard it as a cryptozoological legend, the meteorite from Mars. In 1984, during a research expedition, an ordinary day transformed into an extraordinary one. Imagine a remote corner of Antarctica's pristine ice sheet near the Allen Hills, where a small black meteorite, not much bigger than a baseball, was stumbled upon. This unassuming space rock, later named AL-84001, turned out to be a celestial visitor with a remarkable age of approximately 3.5 billion years. What made AL-84001 even more interesting was its mineral composition, which proved to be exceptionally unusual. Astonishingly, it closely resembled soil samples from Mars that had been examined by NASA's Viking landers in earlier missions. As researchers delved deeper into the mysteries of this cosmic wanderer, they crafted a captivating narrative. According to their proposal, AL-84001 was ejected from Mars due to an asteroid impact, embarking on a cosmic journey across space before serendipitously finding its final resting place on Earth. The real revelation came when scientists scrutinized the meteorite's cracks and pores under powerful microscopes. What they uncovered were complex organic structures, globular and elongated, bearing an uncanny resemblance to fossilized Martian bacteria. Some scientists argue passionately that these microscopic shapes likely represent relic life signatures from an ancient, warmer, wetter Mars. However, doubters contend that similarly odd shapes can naturally form through geochemical mineral processes without any involvement of biology. The controversy surrounding the biogenic nature and extraterrestrial origin of these supposed Mars microfossils persists to this day. Nevertheless, the impact of this discovery on humanity's cosmic perspective is undeniable. It marked the opening scientific salvo in an escalating barrage of revelations about the potential habitability of Mars in its distant past. As we grapple with the ongoing debate over the origins of these supposed Mars microfossils, one thing is clear. The discovery of AL-84001 has profoundly influenced our understanding of the universe. The Legendary Drop of Stones Back in 1937, Dr. Chu led an exciting expedition into the Bayan Karula Mountains. They stumbled upon an ancient graveyard. Among the mummies, scientists found these weird disks, mysterious circles with a hole smack in the middle. They had these deep grooves with hieroglyphs carved inside. These interesting disks made their way to the laboratory of Peking University. Professor Tsum Um Nui took the reins and started decoding the puzzle. It took them a whopping 20 years to crack the code. But when they finally did, the inscriptions on these disks weren't your run-of-the-mill stuff. They spilled the extraterrestrial beans. According to these ancient emojis, aliens visited Earth some 12,000 years ago. A spaceship, loaded with these humanoid creatures, crash-landed in the Himalayas. They couldn't zip back to their cosmic home, so they thought, why not settle here? The alien tribe got a snazzy name, Dropa. Imagine short folks with big heads, blue eyes, and not-so-bushy hair. Nobody bought this fantastic tale when Professor Tsum Um Nui spilled the beans in a Chinese newspaper. The professor packed his bags and moved to Japan, becoming a recluse. The drop of stones vanished into thin air from the university lab. The story sounds like a blockbuster, but there's a teeny tiny glitch. No one's heard of this so-called expedition or our dear scientist Tsum Um Nui. The only breadcrumbs left are photos snapped by Austrian engineer Ernst Weger. And that is why the drop of stone saga sits snugly in the legendary tales section. The imagination of Umuamua. Delving into the enigmatic cosmic wanderer known as Umuamua, 
reveals a hanging of mysteries that has kept scientists on the edge of their seats since its discovery on October 19, 2017, by the keen eyes of Robert Wariak. A mere week later, additional observations from various telescopes added layers of complexity to this celestial enigma. Initially donned with the label of a comet, Oumuamua underwent a metamorphosis in classification through meticulous scrutiny. In fact, an asteroid, a hyperbolic one to be precise. Yet this shift in categorization fueled fervent debates among scientists for multifaceted reasons. Firstly, the shape of Oumuamua defied cosmic norms, presenting itself as an elongated entity with a length that outstripped its width by a staggering factor of at least 10. The cosmic oddities did not cease there. Instead of adhering to a predictable trajectory, Oumuamua embarked on a cosmic dance somersaulting through space, causing its luminosity to dance in tandem. Moreover, an unexpected twist awaited astronomers, a sudden burst of acceleration that propelled Oumuamua 100,000 kilometers beyond their initial estimations. Astrophysicists find themselves grappling with the puzzle of what cosmic force endowed Oumuamua with this unforeseen burst, reminiscent of a spacecraft equipped with clandestine rocket engines. These puzzling details have ignited speculations that stretch beyond the bounds of conventional celestial phenomena. Some daringly suggest Oumuamua could be more than a mere asteroid, posing as a unique cosmic anomaly, or perhaps a craft of extraterrestrial origin. However, in the grand tradition of scientific rigor, researchers tread cautiously on the speculative terrain. While the cosmic allure of Oumuamua beckons to imagination, scientists remain disciplined in their reluctance to definitively endorse the extraterrestrial hypothesis, leaving the cosmic curtain partially drawn on this interstellar secret. Utro, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Now it's time for today's subscriber. Pick many secrets behind the shocking discovery by Russian scientists have continued to emerge leaving the whole world rather confused. In the heart of Russia, a group of brilliant scientists toiled away in a research facility nestled deep within the Siberian wilderness. Their focus was on unraveling the mysteries of the universe, but little did they know that their latest discovery would send shockwaves through the scientific community and baffle the entire world. Dr. Ivan Petrov, a renowned astrophysicist, led the team of eccentric scientists. One fateful night as they monitored the signals from a state-of-the-art telescope pointed toward the darkest corners of the universe, an unusual pattern emerged. It was a signal unlike anything they had encountered before. As the scientists analyzed the data, their excitement grew. The signal contained mathematical patterns, encoded messages, and intricate sequences that defied explanation. The entire facility buzzed with a mixture of anticipation and trepidation. The world outside remained oblivious to the secret unfolding in the heart of Siberia. News of the discovery leaked, and soon the scientific community was ablaze with speculation. Governments, space agencies, and conspiracy theorists alike were captivated by the mysterious signals originating from the universe. The world held its breath, collectively pondering the possibility of extraterrestrial communication. Global media outlets swarmed the Siberian wilderness, creating a makeshift city outside the research facility. Journalists, scientists, and curious onlookers from around the world gathered, eager for a glimpse into the unknown. The Russian scientists, under intense pressure, worked tirelessly to decipher the messages. Late nights turned into early mornings as they pored over complex algorithms and collaborated with experts from around the globe. The world watched, enthralled, as the scientific community embarked on an unprecedented journey of collaboration. As breakthroughs were made and pieces of the puzzle fell into place, the messages revealed a startling truth. They were not from extraterrestrial beings, as many had speculated. Instead, they originated from an ancient, dormant satellite positioned at the edge of the solar system. The satellite, a relic of a long-forgotten space mission, had somehow reactivated itself and began transmitting signals. The messages were a combination of advanced alien-like coding and remnants of the satellite's original programming. The revelation left the world both relieved and perplexed. The story of the Russian scientists and their discovery became the stuff of legends. The mysterious signals, once a source of global confusion, transformed into a symbol of humanity's boundless curiosity and resilience. What are your thoughts on this intriguing find? Let us have your opinions in the comments below. The Island Erebus Volcano In the far reaches of Antarctica, nestled on the isolated Ross Island, 
A gateway to the molten core of our planet relentlessly billows, standing proud at a towering height of 12,500 feet amidst the southernmost peaks of Earth. This extraordinary phenomenon, known as Mount Erebus, serves as an anchor to a desolate dominion, veiled in smoke and flame since the year 1972. Within its fiery embrace, a lava lake continuously churns out otherworldly phenomena, creating a spectacle unlike any other. Despite the captivating allure of Mount Erebus, there is an air of mystery surrounding its unknown depths, waiting to unveil more fantastical discoveries. Thanks to NASA's Operation Deep Freeze, which sustains Antarctic bases like MC Muro's station, scientists diligently observe the eccentric behaviors of the Erebus volcano. They witness gas bubbles popping on the surface of its lava lake, giving rise to small spatter explosions that propel lava bombs over 650 feet away onto the crater rim. In a surprising turn of events in December 2013, the richness of scientific exploration reached new heights when PhD students first ventured into the interior of Mount Erebus. Exploring the ice caves dotting its flanks, they stumbled upon a fascinating world of steam vents fostering microbe communities. These hardy extremophiles thrive on the chemical reactions fueled by the interior heat and gases, representing Earth's toughest life forms and offering insights into potential alien biology on icy moons, such as Jupiter's Europa. Beyond its geological wonders, Mount Erebus holds cultural significance embedded in the legends of its namesake, the Greek god of darkness. Ancient mariners, struck by the volcano's ash-laden gases shrouding Ross Island, named it after Hades's personification, while its smoldering menace deterred early explorers. In the modern era, researchers eagerly flock to this Antarctic Mount Doom, anticipating the revelation of wonders beneath Erebus's frozen carapace. Radar scans have uncovered a vast network of lava tubes running deep below Erebus's peaks, possibly formed by past eruptions. The manuscript with coded language, Delving into the interest of the Voynich manuscript is like stepping into an ancient labyrinth of mysteries. Beyond its cryptic language and perplexing illustrations lie layers of fascination that have captured the imagination of scholars and enthusiasts alike. The 240 pages of this handwritten marvel are not just pages, they are portals to an unknown realm crafted by an elusive author. The veil of uncertainty surrounding its creation only deepens the allure, with the parchment's origin traced back to the enigmatic period between 1404 and 1438, as meticulously deciphered by the keen eye of American chemist Greg Hodgen. What makes the Voynich manuscript truly exceptional is its resilience against the relentless pursuit of decipherment. Since the 17th century, minds adept in the art of cryptography have attempted to unveil its secrets, yet the manuscript's coded language continues to baffle even the most brilliant minds in the field. The linguistic puzzle extends beyond the script itself. Theories regarding the manuscript's origin language range from the intriguing possibility of a Hebrew cipher to the bold suggestion that the author fashioned an entirely new linguistic hanging, a code only comprehensible to the author's mind. As if that weren't enough, the depictions of plants and constellations within its pages remain stubbornly unidentifiable by contemporary science, adding an extra layer of secret to the text. Wilfred Voynich, the Polish antiquarian after whom the manuscript is named, acquired it in 1912, introducing it to a new chapter of curiosity and speculation. Nestled within the hallowed halls of the Beinecke Rare Book Library at Yale University, the Voynich manuscript seems to beckon to those with a thirst for unraveling ancient secrets, as if the answers are just beyond the reach of current understanding, waiting to be discovered by an intrepid seeker of knowledge. The secret persists, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. The Legendary Drapa Stones Back in 1937, Dr. Chu led an exciting expedition into the Bayan Karula Mountains. They stumbled upon an ancient graveyard. Among the mummies, scientists found these weird disks mysterious circles with a hole smack in the middle. They had these deep grooves with hieroglyphs carved inside. These interesting disks made their way to the laboratory of Peking University. Professor Tsum Um Nui took the reins and started decoding the puzzle. It took them a whopping 20 years to crack the code. But when they finally did, the inscriptions on these disks weren't your run-of-the-mill stuff. They spilled the extraterrestrial beans. According to these ancient emojis, aliens visited Earth some 12,000 years ago. A spaceship, loaded with these humanoid creatures, crash-landed in the Himalayas. They couldn't zip back to their cosmic home, so they thought, 
Why not settle here? The alien tribe got a snazzy name, Dropa. Imagine short folks with big heads, blue eyes, and not so bushy hair. Nobody bought this fantastic tale when Professor Tsum Um Nui spilled the beans in a Chinese newspaper. The professor packed his bags and moved to Japan, becoming a recluse. The Dropa stones vanished into thin air from the university lab. The story sounds like a blockbuster, but there's a teeny tiny glitch. No one's heard of this so-called expedition or our dear scientist Tsum Um Nui. The only breadcrumbs left are photos snapped by Austrian engineer Ernst Weger, and that is why the Dropa Stone saga sits snugly in the legendary tales section. The Imagination of Umuamua Delving into the enigmatic cosmic wanderer known as Umuamua reveals a hanging of mysteries that has kept scientists on the edge of their seats since its discovery on October 19, 2017, by the keen eyes of Robert Wariak. A mere week later, additional observations from various telescopes added layers of complexity to this celestial enigma. Initially donned with the label of a comet, Oumuamua underwent a metamorphosis in classification through meticulous scrutiny. In fact, an asteroid, a hyperbolic one to be precise. Yet this shift in categorization fueled fervent debates among scientists for multifaceted reasons. Firstly, the shape of Oumuamua defied cosmic norms, presenting itself as an elongated entity with a length that outstripped its width by a staggering factor of at least 10. The cosmic oddities did not cease there. Instead of adhering to a predictable trajectory, Oumuamua embarked on a cosmic dance, somersaulting through space, causing its luminosity to dance in tandem. Moreover, an unexpected twist awaited astronomers, a sudden burst of acceleration that propelled Oumuamua 100,000 kilometers beyond their initial estimations. Astrophysicists find themselves grappling with the puzzle of what cosmic force endowed Oumuamua with this unforeseen burst, reminiscent of a spacecraft equipped with clandestine rocket engines. These puzzling details have ignited speculations that stretch beyond the bounds of conventional celestial phenomena. Some daringly suggest Oumuamua could be more than a mere asteroid, posing as a unique cosmic anomaly, or perhaps, a craft of extraterrestrial origin. However, in the grand tradition of scientific rigor, researchers tread cautiously on the speculative terrain. While the cosmic allure of Oumuamua beckons to imagination, scientists remain disciplined in their reluctance to definitively endorse the extraterrestrial hypothesis, leaving the cosmic curtain partially drawn on this interstellar secret. Utro, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.